All right, we're looking at to build Ubuntu Live ISO from scratch. I think one of the creators wanted me to check this out. So I got it installed on this Pop! OS and because it was the only Ubuntu base that I have uh, installed on VirtualBox. And I'm running it right now, the uh, build Ubuntu Live ISO from scratch. And I'm trying to figure it out. I, I don't think it's one of those... Um, builders like cubic builder or any other one that has the uh, ui interface uh, this is just a terminal line almost like arch or manjaro uh, iso builders so i'm running it right now and let me just show you what it's been doing um let's see i put um uh, sudo B-U-L-I-F-S and then it took off and started running. Now I might have did something wrong because there's different uh, commands here. Clean build, interactive, quiet. I think it just went ahead and started going because it's been sitting here doing all this stuff right here. And it looks like packages has started downloading and then it upgrade and now it's installing and it's going to create a ISO. And that's what it's doing right now. Uh, so it's, uh, you know, working. I didn't do it right, but uh, that's because I don't know um, how to use it quite yet. But since it's a Ubuntu base, I think the folder that you're going to have to, uh, you know, I didn't do any configuration before I even started this thing. But I think the folder, you can see that it's making some uh, packages or files there. The uh, Chroot and, or what is that called? The package list settings and everything so i think the file that you have to modify to do a custom iso on a ubuntu base is in etc and the xdg i think these are the all your config files that you need to configure and or dump you know from your home these setting files if you just grab all these pretty much all of them but not all you know you don't really have to grab all of them but mostly these here and dump them in there once you got the system all configured I think that's where you would put them in the XDG folder here for Ubuntu base if I can remember when I was uh, doing the Ubuntu the Zubuntu would use in the cubic builder now the cubic builder is pretty neat uh, it has a user interface and you know once you get used to it and know how it works uh, you can make a custom ISO but this one is uh, just in the terminal here a build Ubuntu live ISO from scratch okay so that might mean something there now it didn't really uh, say much on this website and I didn't really find any other information about it but it's probably uh, just real simple to use just like any of these other builders out there they kind of look confusing when you first uh, get them installed and trying to figure them out but once you figure them out you know it's really they're not uh, that hard to use so this one has been going for the last, um, I'm going to say 30 minutes. It's, um, let me show you what this thing has been doing again. It has really been running. And I was looking through the settings here. If you just type uh, B-U-L-I-F-S, it'll tell you these commands here. And so... Um, for some reason, I was trying to get into the password and it wouldn't take in my password. Then I typed sudo this and it just took off running. It says right here, bootstrapping the base system. And then it just took off running and I thought it was just going to, you know, do something quick. But it's been running this thing for 30 minutes now. So it's did all this, updated and downloaded and and so now we're getting to the point where it looks like it's creating something so creating 4.0 file system okay on work image live file system okay so now it's creating a filing system so we know it's going to do something here now 
I don't know what it's going to create because I didn't configure anything. I didn't get into the files and, you know, it might just make a whole total, total copy of this Pop! OS or and since I didn't configure any files, it might just make a GNOME, a plain Jane GNOME system when it boots. But I'm not going to do all that. I just wanted to see how this thing works. And so far it's been working, even though I didn't configure files and all that. Uh, like I said, you've got to go into that XD for Ubuntu. You have to go into the XDG uh, and put, uh, you know, let's say... Let's say you get your config files. Uh, here's your config files. So you get all your system configuration. And this is where all the config files are. And then once you move those, you want to grab really all this. That's all I do. I grab all of these. And then you move them into uh, ETC the XDG I think it is on a Ubuntu base if I remember correctly so this one right here and there's these files that are in here right now menu system D auto start so they don't have too many in there right now but uh, once you get it all figured out and you know how this thing works uh, you can build a custom Ubuntu base. Okay, now it says done. So it says done building the ISO file. Okay, so now we got to go find this ISO file. Let's see where it put it. Uh, there it is right there. So there's my live ISO file. It put it right here in my uh, documents. Let me unhide that. So it made these uh, files here. There's the settings config. And let's have a look at that. There's the config files. I think that, uh, yeah. And there's package list. I think that might be made from this uh, program. I'm not too sure. But there's the ISO. So that's what it created. So um, I don't know what it could be, but it's probably just a known build of some sort. But it was running for quite some time. Now, Let's see, if you just type B-U-L-I-F-S, it'll give you this uh, usage thing. Clean rebuild, interactive build. You probably want to do that one, a quiet build, and then help. So this kind of reminds me of the builder that's on the what's called Manjaro tools. That's about how it is. And then you just put... Uh, the you you type the builder uh, or build like this and then what you want to do and you know go on from there and let's uh, try interactive here so if we do slash and I okay I don't know why it goes back to that maybe I gotta do two of them I don't know why it uh, okay I interactive well that's what I put the first time let's try like that no so I don't know see I, I got to figure out how to use this tool because it's, it's just you know that's what you got to do so until I figure that out uh, exactly how to get this thing to work Let's just go ahead and try this while we're running this real quick. Yeah, I didn't want that. Okay, let's try this. Paste that there. Let's try that. Okay, see? Just keeps going. Uh, oh! Uh, okay, so it has to be run as root. So that's what I'm doing wrong. I, I didn't read that part. So it has to be like this. Uh, and, and then I bet you this will be the interactive. Okay, so now my password. And, and now it's going to start off again. And it should stop at, because the interactive, it should stop and ask me questions before I continue. 
So now it's stopped at one point and didn't really give me any instructions on what to do next. So that's another thing I got to figure out. This one didn't really give me any, um, I don't see any instructions of, uh, like the major tools. It'll, it'll stop and then say, it'll actually give you some instructions. You should do this next and do this next. If you need to change something in the files before you do this, you know, and that, you know, and then continue. But this one, it seems like it just stopped and uh, really didn't give me any uh, further instructions on what was the next step. So anyway, um, I'm pretty sure it's uh, it worked good. Um, I would have to look at that ISO to see what it is to get it off this uh, um, virtual box here. But I'm sure it's just a known build because it, it did run through. You see what it did. It ran through all this stuff. And it built something. So uh, I'll leave the link um, to this builder in the description below. I think he said, let's see, where did I see that? I think it said somewhere that it works for 18 and uh, 19. This is a 1910 build here. So you just got to try it. I don't know if it'll work on a Debian build um, like that. Um, what was that other one that worked on Debian? Oh, there's so many of them. Uh, Master Reset. I know it wasn't that one. Um, uh, what was the other one called? That was pretty cool. But I can't remember where I saw... where it says something about Ubuntu. Or what versions it was, but I, th I thought I was right up here. But anyway, not to make this video too much longer. I'm sure once you, uh, you know, figure this thing out, just like the, uh, you know, I had to take time my, myself to figure out the, a cubic builder when I first downloaded it and it tried to run it and everything I had to figure it all out where those packages go where my config files go and everything and once you figure all that out which ain't hard to do all you gotta do is look online and do a little research and that's exactly what I did I even got uh, the uh, the mentor mentor man, I don't know why I keep calling it man, Manjaro tools I even got uh, figured all that out, which uh, is a total pain to do the Manjaro tools, let me tell you. So uh, it just takes a little research and a little time. And then once you've got it all figured out, then you can start building you a custom ISO. And this one doesn't seem like it's going to be that hard to figure out. It seems pretty simple so far. It didn't give me any kind of, um, when I installed it, any kind of uh, instructions or a uh a thing a ui in the system here that just didn't you know i think it's just the terminal that's all it is so you just go into the terminal and you type up that uh b-u-l-i-f-s and then you get your instructions right there so just got to figure out the rest and then you can build a custom ubuntu base distro so I guess I'm going to wrap this up here. I'll leave this link to this download right here in the, uh, in the uh, description below. And that was pretty simple to download. I just put the PPA, of course, and then sudo update. Uh, and then sudo apt install that right there, B-U-L-I-F-S. And then it went ahead and installed it. So I guess I'm going to wrap this up here. All right, I'm out.